Oh, good morning, guys, from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Islamabad, but not for long, actually. Today, we're going to be departing Islamabad. Got Harry the bro over here packing away, getting ready. Good morning, guys. Good morning. And we are taking a tour now. So we're joining a couple guys here who you guys will meet in just a moment here once we get down to the car. Kram and Mice. Mace. And I got to confirm his name here. And they're going to be taking us over to SWAT. Yeah, like I said, about four hours to get there. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a couple cups of Joe in us because we went to bed at like 1 a.m. and got up at 6 a.m. kind of later on until 6.40. So let's head down there and meet them. All right. Oh, it's nice and chilly at 7 a.m., that's for sure. I think these are our guys. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we doing? Good morning, guys. How are you? Good to see you. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. Bright and early. You guys ready for this? Yes, we are ready. Perfect. We got Harry coming out. I'm a little faster of a packer, though. Okay. I guess we fell. Well, we were up till about 1 a.m., so well enough. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a Kram here. Yeah. And Mice mate. No Maz. Nice to meet you, Novaz. It's a pleasure. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're just waiting on Harry. That's all right. He'll be out here in the next couple minutes and then we'll begin the journey. All right, so we're on the road here. We've got Harry in the back there, bro. You made it in? I made it, finally. We're gonna be a little tired though. I'm not gonna, like I told you guys, got up about an hour ago, but didn't actually roll out of bed till about 20 minutes ago, just in time. So yeah, we're cruising up, like I said, about four hours till we get there and uh, we've got the gentleman here. So we've got a Kram who's from Hunza Valley, right? Yeah. So he's gonna know this place quite well. He's promising us a lot of very local spots that only he can find. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because the places we're gonna visit are gonna be completely different than all of the videos you've seen in the last maybe 40 videos at this point. And uh, one more time, your name? Mohammed Naz. Mohammed Naz. And you're also from? Um, Hunza. Hunza, oh, nice. So you guys are both local to Hunza. Yes, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So we've got Mohammed, who's gonna be joining us for the next two days and we're gonna have some fun. So first stop SWAT and then it'll just be one day there where we'll share maybe one, two videos with you guys. And after that, we'll be continuing on to Hunza. Well guys, you know what time it is. A quick stop over here at McDanklin's. That's gonna be G-O-O-D, Sabah El Hail. Oh, I think that was the wrong language. Uh, how do we get in this hotel? Is it closed? No way. No. I think McDonald's is closed, bro. Uh, yeah, I think that's the door to get in right there, right? McDonald's closed? Oh, it's, it's open over here? How do we get in? Looks pretty closed to me. What's this guy talking about? Hello, hello? You guys open? <laughs> hello? Hello? Your security guard's telling us that you're open and he sent us to the drive-thru by foot. Can we order? We need coffees badly. Well, I guess no chow here, bro. Bit of traffic here. Salam alaikum. All right. Guys, the day has come where I have located a McDonald's that is not 24 7. Didn't know that was possible, but we have unlocked that there are McDonald's that are not open this early in the morning. I'm surprised. People don't need their coffees, I guess, but we shall see. We're going to keep cruising down the highway and see if we can find another spot at some point here soon. see out here the landscapes are really starting to change quite a bit the mountains are starting to grow and surround us they must have had to cut these highways right through just to uh, get the fastest routes to these places it's definitely the time to be awake we've been a little quiet the last little bit of the trip because i fell asleep the whole time much needed though now it's the time to enjoy the landscapes and the scenery so as i briefly mentioned I was thinking they did a lot of cutting here and Mohammed confirmed that they've really carved out this entire highway. It used to take almost six hours, you said? Yeah, it's going to Mardan city and then we were coming to Sabat Valley. So now this is the direct connection. One interchange, we can get in and directly we can reach to check that out. So Whoa. these tunnels, they have made for us three tunnels on this highway. Uh, three tunnels right here. So the SWAT motorway tunnel, we're about to enter it guys, here we go. So guys, we're just passing uh, Chetral, the uh, exit point here. And now we're going more into the SWAT area. As you can see, this is a much different side of Pakistan than we've seen 
previously, but very excited for it. We still have some of the uh, fall changing colors as we uh, make our way over to Swat, which is actually known as the Switzerland of Pakistan. So that'll give you a very small preview of how beautiful this place is going to be. All right, we're entering into Swat here and that's the uh, Swat River on the left. We've got mountains on the right, so the landscapes are coming along very beautifully. So it's pretty crazy guys, not too long ago this area, the Swat, um, Switzerland of Pakistan was under Taliban rule from 2007 to 2009, almost 13 years ago now. Oh look at this, that's why you gotta drive safe guys, it looks like that truck rolled right over the side. How do you turn that thing back over? Alright guys, a quick little uh, border stop here, nice part is they took down all the information. If you are traveling through this area, make sure you've got the uh, copy of your EVs. You know where your stamp is in your passport, because my passport's got a lot of pages in it and a lot of stamps, so I had to search through it for like three minutes with the guys. Turn that uh, border crossing into a set of maybe 10 new police officers that are now new subscribers. So I'd say that's always a big win when you get stopped at the border patrol and you turn them into new fans. So now we're en route and here we go. So back in 2007, how did the uh, Taliban take over this area? In some place there were uh, Taliban. Yeah. There's uh, in the city area, there was an involvement of Taliban and uh, a few times the army took it over. So during 2007, 2009, there was like basically constant yeah, fighting? In 2008, 9, it was almost finished. This area was seized for uh, foreigners and for also for domestic tourism. Oh, and so it was back by 2008, 2009 already yeah. for tourism. So there was some Taliban presence, but generally safe. Yeah, yeah. but uh, now there is no any Taliban, no any involvement. No Taliban here, guys, even though we're, what, six hours from the Afghan border? Yeah. Yeah, about six hours away, but no Taliban presence here. Obviously, as you saw, we got stopped by uh, the uh, police slash military checkpoint there. They have this place guarded and it feels very safe overall. So it's a uh, nice area. So we are officially in Swat now, as you can see, welcome to Swat, the land of Gandhara. All right, we're stopping for some uh, delicious roadside breakfast here at a traditional Pakistani place here. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. All right. We're right here down in Swat. So it's a nice temperature, guys. We're probably 10, 15 Celsius. As you can see here, definitely jacket weather. And this is where we're gonna be eating at. Looks like we're the only ones here. And we've got something going on right over here. Some little like meat pie. Uh-huh, looks delicious. And we're heading in. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ab kaise hai? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Tige, tige. So this will be uh, headquarters, yeah? Perfect. Yeah. I'll take a uh, kebab and some parappa bread with it. So here, you getting the kebab too, bro? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Akram, what are you getting? I believe it's omelet. Omelet. Oh, actually, yeah, sign me up for one omelet too. Okay, yeah. omelet. I'll do an omelet instead of the kebab. And tea? And tea, oh yeah. You know, it is breakfast time, guys. Gotta have the omelet. There's just something about the omelet that I must have. Abkan am kehe? Fayas. So Fayas is cooking up some delicious omelets over here. These are freshly made. We got some veggies in there. They're fresh and some, yeah, as you can see, we got some vegetables here. We got some bread there and we've got all the utensils. So we're warming up. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be cooked. Good stuff, yeah? Tige. Mm -mm -mm. That's gonna be G-double-O-D. Good, shukriya, my friend. Oh yeah, guys, we're gonna be eating real good today. Our first local meal. Actually, I think this is our first time actually eating like legit street food. I just am sometimes a little bit hesitant to, just for the reason being that I've been sick in countries before and we're going at such a fast-paced schedule. If I was sick for like a couple days, I would definitely be very upset because then I wouldn't be able to show you guys as much. I wouldn't be able to see as much. Yeah, so I just trained Harry here. He was about to drink the local water and I could see the minerals like basically swirling around in there and I can tell his body is definitely not ready for it. I could be wrong, but better safe than sorry, right? So see guys, that's the trick. Whenever you're in any country, you always make sure you hear, listen closely, wait for it, and uh-huh. That right there, my friends, that's music to the ears when you've been the one to take it off and enjoy a nice soap. <sighs> I could hear the sizzling from over there. Uh-huh, that is gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. We've got one done, so we got process number one. So we're getting a nice little heaping scoop of, is that maybe butter? Uh-huh, looks like the way it's melting around. That's a big, big pallet of butter. And that's uh, paratha bread? I think so. 
So we're gonna be enjoying omelets inside of the paratha. It's gonna be our own version of a breakfast sandwich out here in Pakistan. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, so that's how the paratha is made. Look at that, oh, it immediately starts to bubble up. So that's how it's made. It's fried basically right on top of that frying pan, kind of spun around and the, uh, the pan was already heated up quite a bit. So as you can see, that's like a 30 second process and the paratha bread's already done. Have the uh, omelets there and some fresh paratha bread. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be delish. Oh, it looks like we're doing the uh, runny yolk. All right, another paratha bread ready to go. Uh huh. That one looks nice and doughy. Salt and pepper, yeah. Salt and pepper. A lot of salt on there. Get some pepper on there too, guys. Oh yeah, that's more pepper than I expected. And then we'll grab one of these paratha breads and we'll turn this into a little breakfast sandwich, yeah? All right, and there we go. We're gonna get that all inside of there. This is definitely not the normal way to eat it, guys, but this is the Mac way infused with the Pakistani food. We're gonna roll that thing up into a nice little burrito and we're gonna chow down. Oh, baby, that is good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a combo USA. Yeah, that's exactly. Pakistan. 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Infused oh together. How is the taste? Oh, delicious, delicious. Yeah, guys, the, the nice part is it's fresh off the stovetop here. So out here in the cold, it's warming up my entire body because it's so hot, but I'm so hungry for it. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Guys, I think this might be safe to say this is, like literally, I'm not saying this for the camera, the best way I've ever eaten an omelet. Inside paratha bread, it's unbelievably tasty. Mm -hmm. It's been like 30 seconds and I've already almost finished the whole thing. That's how you know it's delish. I ate that so fast, guys, I didn't even tell you what's in there. Onions, tomatoes, obviously you saw the salt and pepper go in there, and a couple other veggies. Maybe some peppers in there. And mm, 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 that infusion was great, especially because the paratha bread has so much oil, along with all the butter that you saw that the omelet was cooked in, it just made it like almost like a liquidy omelet, which was fantastic. We're gonna be ready to explore SWAT now. And you know what time it is? Post uh, paratha and omelet time for some chai, one of probably seven today. The chai addiction is real, I can tell you that, right? Uh huh. How many chais per day? Almost seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow, all right. If we're gonna be hanging out with these guys, we're gonna be drinking seven, eight, nine, or ten teas yeah. per day, yeah? I'm okay with that because I'm enjoying it, especially, you know, as it gets a little bit colder the further we go up north, these things warm you up. Tigay food, delicious, my friends. Shukriya. A very good first meal here in Swat. How'd you like that, boss? Yeah, really good. I was uh, feeling rather hungry, and that, that honestly, that omelette, like you said, that was so good. Like so, so much oil cooked. And all that butter too. Yeah. So yeah. he literally took like a tablespoon of butter, tossed it on there, and it was uh, quite good. You better watch where you step, though, otherwise you might take a leap down into the river. All right, guys. Now we're cruising over to the uh, Swat Museum here. It's a pretty big museum. Yeah. Yeah. Indoor or outdoor? Uh, indoor. Indoor, all right, perfect, perfect. And how far is it? Uh, it would take almost half an hour. Oh, half an hour, all right. So Swat's a pretty spread out city. Mm, yeah. yeah. As you can see here, guys, we're getting a look into what the local life is in this area. We've got markets, we've got trucks with, what are those, bananas hanging out of the back? No, that's not bananas. Some sort of vegetable, I've never seen anything like that. Oh, that was cauliflower. Wow. From afar, it looked like bananas. <laughs> it's pretty lively here for a Tuesday, yeah? Hustle and bustle here in SWAT. Guys, it's just fascinating to look on the road here. When people are driving, like, as you can see, there's oncoming traffic and people are going over the lines, in and out, just to pass each other. If I was in the US and someone was doing that, I'd be like, get in my seat. But here, it just kind of works, you know? Everyone's used to people going in and out. You got motorcycles going head on. They're basically playing chicken with each other. Who can stand on the uh, road longest? See, now he's going back on the other side. He's uh, going against the truck. Literally, at any moment, you can look out the window and be entertained if you're not from Pakistan because you're like just absolutely amazed with how everything works here. So watch, I'm sure we'll see something crazy here. Oh, we, we have some nice uh, locals in the back of the truck right there. Probably wondering what we're filming. And we've got a whole crew of people hopping in the back of this one. Hello. Yeah, shy. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're making a quick little trip down here, a more village-like road. As you can see, we're testing out the driveway. We're going sideways here. Oh. Oh. As you can see here, one false move on a motorcycle, you're gonna be swimming in the creek right in the middle there. And we're coming up on a very unique piece of architecture, and this one's the uh, Shingardara Stupa. Am I saying that right? Yes. How old is this thing? It's 
found for 18th century. 18th century. Oh, so it's only a few hundred years old then. Looks like it's a bit older than that, but surely I can tell you it took a while to build. You can see this, the way the stones are stacked. All right, we're walking up to it, guys. So it looks like update to that guy, 7th century. So that makes sense. It does look like it's a bit older than just a couple hundred years. So that brings us back to maybe 13, 1400 years ago. And based on the history of this place, there was an elephant that came over here that was carrying the king. And as soon as it arrived here, it fell over and died. And so it turned into a stump. Update to that. The elephant dropped down and turned itself into a rock. And then basically this magnificent structure was erected out of the ground. It's quite high. I'd say that's got to be like 20 meters up, something like that. And you can see at this point, like all the dirt has eroded down and it's like almost turned into like a grassy type of uh, passageway that leads up. Can I climb up to the top? Yeah. All right. I guess we're heading up guys. We're going full speed ahead. Ah, what do you guys think? Climb all the way up to the top of this thing? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not that good of a climber. I don't think the locals would be too happy with that. Wow. You can see some nice views of SWAT here though, guys. Houses in the distance. The village We've got uh, local farmers on this side as well as a donkey down there so it's interesting this seems like it must have been built by like what do you guys know has this been built through multiple like centuries because it seems like a different design as you go further up yeah like it seems like this was more of a early on before they had figured out ways to build the blocks like that basically putting it almost looks like their form of cement when you get uh, about a third the way up Quite fascinating to see. I think this might be a reason to get the drone up, yeah? So you guys could see a quick view of what it looked like from up top. You know, you can tell no one's been up to the top in quite a while with all the vegetation up top. So quick view, good for a five minute stop. And now we're gonna keep heading towards the museum, probably another 20 minutes or so till we're there. So guys, we're doing one more quick stop off before we make it over to the museum. And that's right across the street here. We're going across here. We got a rickshaw and we got a tractor coming. And this, as you can see, is what's left of the statue. Apparently when the Taliban took over here, they destroyed some of it. But let's go ahead and uh, climb up to the top, see what we can find here. Oh, we got a little cave up here. And let's see what's going to be all the way up here at the top. Salam alaikum. Abkeze. Tige. It's a nice view up here, yeah? And there's a cave. Oh, the cave doesn't go too far in here, guys. Not much we can see in there. It smells like someone smoked a cigarette in there. And uh, here's the views. Some nice views, yeah? And what's your good name? Kalim Khan. Karayam Ham? Kalim. Kalim. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kalim. Good name. Hey. Salam alaikum. The big man, you made it up. I made it. So my instincts say that that's some sort of dropping there. I would guess a goat. Oh, Comment below if that's right. Goat? Ah, all right. right. Yes, I was right, guys. Well, the reality is, is there's not too many other animals I've seen running up the sides of cliffs besides the mountain goats. So it was a lucky guess, I'd say. Some steep stairs here, no railing. So if you're running up and down these stairs, be ready, anything can happen. Back to the car. All right, we're starting to enter the modern side of SWAT. More billboards past a couple malls here and just a lot of, looks like that's a Uniqlo or maybe one of the sister companies of them. Uh, quite the shopping district over here. Here's the busyness, guys. Look at this. We've got cars coming straight at us, and then at the last second, swoop back into their lane. Anything goes here. And here we are at the SWAT Museum. Seems like we're not the only ones who considered going here. Full parking lot today. And here we are. Quite the grand entrance when you first walk in. Significant amount of names on here dating back from 2008 all the way to... Looks like we got 2014 in here. This is uh, part of Quran, but uh, here uh, some of the army guys were uh, during the wars, they were killed or something like this. Oh, uh, uh, so it's a memorial. Yeah, memorial. Memorial. Oh, wow. It wraps all the way around here. So guys, to get in here, as you can see, if you're local, five or 10, student, adult, foreigner, 200, still photography, 300. So here we are, the large map, and we're gonna go for a cruise. Listen to me, yeah. The past two girls objects there are the Dahara grave parties, because those objects belong to the graves. Uh -huh. 1700 BC. 
So you can see uh, at here the red one, Buddhist, yeah. five rooms. Then you can see through to historic, the first two galleries, Gandahara grave parties. Green one, Islamic Masjid Mahmud Mosque. And uh, black historic site, you can see Hindu Shahi and Turk Shahi. Wow, at sorry. 780. Wow. That's quite a long time ago. I'm gonna do a quick tour for you guys. One, because I'm not supposed to be filming, and two, because museums are meant to be explored, in my opinion, in person, but it's an important part about SWAT to share with you guys. So we've got some nice looking sculptures here. Very beautiful. As you guys can see up there, the Buddha statue, that's much more intact than after it was destroyed by the Taliban quite a few years ago, as you saw at the last place we were at. So this is what it used to look like, guys. A bit different, as you can see there. I couldn't find the staircase when we were over there last time. It's a bit <laughs> overgrown since. The only thing that stands out is this. Yeah. And uh, up top. Salam alaikum, my friends. Yeah. Okay, so hey. Tige? Perfect, perfect. So guys, quick little run through the museum there. A little bit harder to film, so just showed you real quick. You'll have to come check this place out yourself. I personally don't like to film museums because I think they're better to walk around and experience them yourself. That's just my personal opinion, but yeah. That's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video, guys. That is the first step into exploring SWAT. We just have one day here, so hopefully we can get one more video for you guys while we explore this place. We're gonna stay overnight here, and then we'll be heading up to Hunza Valley. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure that thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos both here in Pakistan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.